Good morning. I had to go turn the TV down. <laughs> oh. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What a wonderful day. Hello, Diana. Hi, Judith. We're going to play with playful pets. I couldn't help it. I had to get into this one. And I named the kitty Cinnamon because I used cinnamon cider to color him. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> so I thought he came out really cute. It opens like this. I did like a little gate fold with it. That came out so adorable. This is very good morning. Good morning to everyone. I'm excited to craft today. It's a cloudy, hazy day, maybe some rain today. So it's an absolutely perfect day to stay in this room and get a lot of things done that I'm a little bit behind in. Good morning, Jeanette. So um, <clears throat> if you've ordered from me or are downlines or uh, Paper Pumpkin subscribers and you're doing the paper share, um, everything is going to come in one package. Or even if you've purchased anything from me, everything is going to come like in one package. So that's what I'm starting to do today. Along with for my downlines, their gift this month is this spool of ribbon, the entire spool. I fell in love with this. If um, if you guys are looking in the catalog for something that you just need a little oomph on a project, this sheer ribbon, it is pool party, but look, when you pull it out, guys, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that shimmer on that. I fell in love with this ribbon, and it's so soft, it will make some beautiful bows. Um, so yeah, even this is a, don't pass this up in the catalog. That was like my card yesterday. Um, when I did that live YouTube, don't pass that, um, all things fabulous up. Good morning, Jean. Good morning. Yeah. Don't pass that all things fabulous up because that is triple stamping and that's a lot of fun. Um, I love to use my ink. So, uh, with the new catalog, if you're a new customer of mine, I'm going to, of course, send you a brand new catalog, which is fantastic. And then um, you will also, when, I can't believe I'm even talking about this, when the holiday catalog uh, gets to be released, I will also send you. Okay, sorry it buffered. Um, I always see it on my end. Uh, so yeah, I can't believe that that's going on. So with all of that being said, if you would like to join my team, I would love to have you. I don't, here's the brochure for that. You will be able to um, pre-order when the holiday catalog comes out. Um, and But the greatest thing is that Stampin' Up, when you pick out your starter kit for 99, you get $125 worth of product for $99, but you also get to pick a free bundle. Pick a free bundle. And then you get privy to a lot of other things with Stampin' Up. Uh, a lot of good um, places that gives you good ideas and, and things like that. Um, and plus you get your 20% discount with your first order. There's free shipping. So that is just wonderful. I'd love to have you join my team. I say this all the time. I'm not a pushy salesperson. I want you to have fun. Don't worry about the $300. Um, good morning, Susan. Don't worry about the $300 for anything. I just want you to get your 20% discount. Have fun crafting if and you'll love the product. And, you know, you could jump on and off with me. I have people do that all the time. They let it expire and then they come in for the next um, promotion. And that's the way they keep going. It, it's no problem. Oh, thank you, Susan. I appreciate the share. Um, okay, so let's talk about this little card today. This paper right here, let me show you what this says. Hi, Marsha. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Marsha. I appreciate that. Oh, yours with the horse. That I saw that on Facebook. Oh, just gorgeous. Now, this, um, this paper right here, this is like progressive. It says, paw, jump, love, meow, purr, snooze, yawn. And it, it just repeats. Then there's another one in here for the dog, okay? This one is for the kitty. Um, and so they both have this wonderful script here. And that's the way that I did the inside of the card. Um, I had to uh, 
so I had to make this little kitty. Thank you, Jean. Um, this little kitty, I named her Cinnamon. She's named after Cinnamon Cider. So that's what I thought yesterday as I was putting this together. So we're going to go through all of that and then get her cut out. <clears throat> this is done with the um, Pampered Pets stamp set and the pet dies. And um, we're going to use the little trinkets here. This is the Playful Pets Bundle. Or, yes. It's a sweet, actually. Playful pet sweet. So when, um, <laughs> I love your horses. Oh, they were just beautiful. Um, so when you order a sweet, let's talk about that for just a second, okay? A lot of things are like in a bundle. Here is a bundle right here. You get 10% off because you order the stamp set and the um, dies together. But I like to order these sweets right here. Okay, so for one item number right here and one price, I got the Pampered Pets Bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies. I got the Playful Pets Designer Series Paper, the Trim Combo Pack, and the Trinkets. I only had to use one number, one price. Bam, we've got it. You get your 10% off here. You know, you could also order them separately. It's just easier because then I get all the product and um, everything coordinates together. So I thought that, that that goes throughout this catalog with anything that you see that's in a suite, anything in a suite. It'll have this, but then it will also break it down, okay? To where if you didn't want the suite and you just wanted to order the bundle, you can do that too, okay? So I thought that was kind of pretty cool. I like I happen to like to order the sweets because it just takes all the guesswork out of it. So today we're going to use cinnamon cider, a little bit of real red, and some tuxedo memento black ink. And so let's move our card aside. And um, here is our base. These are the measurements. The base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at two and one eighth at each end. That's what makes the gate fold to come in. Okay. The inside of the card is your basic black at five and a quarter by four, and then regular whisper white at five by three and three quarter. I did these sticky notes when I made that book, and it really, it really helped me. And I was thinking, like when I was watching the video, I was like, oh wait, they could just pause the video and write this down. Even if I put, you know, measurements on the front of the video, sometimes this helps too. Okay, so I've already cut this. It's eight and a half by five and a half. It's already scored right here at two and one eighth at each end. Now I'm going to take my bone folder and we're going to fold these in. And I'm going to press that down nicely. Now see when I'm using my bone folder, let's press that in. Look how nicely that comes together. That's perfect. When I use my bone folder, Oh, wonderful, Marcia. Marcia. Marcia is in Finland, and she says she got a paper trimmer with inches. I guess you guys are metric, right? Yeah, so yes, it would make your life easier because we do talk in inches, right? Uh, okay, so when you use your bone folder, I like to start in the middle with my first uh, pass, and I go up and then down. Then you can go back and forth, okay? Okay. Um, I take a screenshot. Very good. <laughs> That's nice, Jeanette. Thank you. Um, uh, so what that does is does not allow the paper to shift a little bit. Definitely on this, you don't want any type of shift. Look at how nicely that came together. Just absolutely perfectly. Okay. And it's really never happened to me, even if I go from top to bottom, but it could. So and this is thick Whisper White cardstock. This is not the regular Whisper White, all right? Uh, I like my bases out of the thick Whisper White. It gives it a little bit more body. So I always like to go from the center. So just a little tip there, okay? <clears throat> I'm actually going to turn that over and burnish it down a little bit more because I want that really to... There we go. Now it's laying flatter. You see? If you turn it over and then, um, you know, burnish it again with your bone folder. And my bone folder... <sighs> has had a lot of love. As you could see, my Stampin' Up! is about is rubbed off, right? Okay, um, let's see, what should we do next? Let's do the inside since I have the base right here. Okay, so I'm going to take this off 
And this piece right here, the basic black again, is um, five and a quarter by four because I'm going to put some DSP and um, cover the inside of the card. I, I did not want this to be short in here like at five by three and three quarter. So, and I want everything to line up. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Let's go ahead and move this aside and bring in, the, this is regular Whisper White. That's what I like to stamp on on the inside of the card. Um, and it is five by three and three quarters. All right, um, let's see. We are going to put, I hope your day is a real treat in cinnamon cider in the middle of this. scoot check just a little bit just like that and now our little butterflies um in tuxedo memento black ink because i'm going to color them with some blends put them here put them there good so let's see <clears throat> Just gonna color that with some flirty flamingo. The outside of this card on this DSP, that is flirty flamingo and real red and um, cinnamon cider. And I think this a cinnamon cider up here and I believe that's soft suede. So those, the outside of the paper tells you everything. Let's see if I got that right. The outside of your paper pack tells you Everything, yeah, there's early espresso, cinnamon cider, basic black, fruity flamingo, real red, soft suede, whisper white. That's what coordinates with this entire pack of paper. That, that Stampin' Up! does that all the time. They coordinate everything for you. I'm taking my light flirty flamingo blends and I'm just going to go ahead and make some little pink butterfly wings. Cute. I think I went outside the line on that one. There we go, cute. I did go outside the line. What I'm gonna use right now is called, this is called a, um, a color lifter. And uh, what this does is it, I actually take the color and I just push it back into the butterfly that I kinda went outside the lines a little bit there. And it's almost like an eraser but I push the ink back in. It's not so much that I scribble it off. Okay, that's our inside. And we're going to attach this to our basic black. And I'm going to use the stamp and seal. I'll have to tell you, I, I couldn't help it. I had to open the stamp and seal plus just to see, okay? And here is the stamp and seal. So the stamp and seal plus has the little darker. Here's the little plus on it. And then um, the regular stamp and seal is light blue. More so, um, and I I've seen some videos, and I I, I always cover, recover this okay to keep it nice and fresh. Comes with a nice cover. Um, I've seen some videos where people have had trouble with this. I have not yet, except for sometimes I just have to help it to start a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Here we come. I've really not had trouble with this. I happen to really like it. Um, and do you see how I'm checking off? I'm put, pulling it. It makes it very, very nice junction here, not a wad of adhesive, okay? So I just kind of come down at an angle and then check it like that, check it off like that. I've not... With mine, so far, I'm good. Now, if you get something that's defective, you call Stampin' Up! They will replace it for you. Their customer service is fantastic, honest. Okay, right here. <clears throat> Whew, that is really, really, really sticky. Um, so this, to me, you know, usually I'm a Tombow girl, but I wanted to show you the stamp and seal, and that I really, I really like it. But this, let me tell you, yesterday I put something on a little crooked. I went to take it off forget it. It is committed the minute you touch it. It is like, but wow, it's some great adhesive. Okay, now on the back here, and you can really see it shine on that black, right? 
Okay, I did not check off, and you see the little bit of tape that I got right there, and there was the start. Okay, now let's do this. Let's see. See, because I didn't check off, it pulled it, and what happened is the tape actually went back into it. It's because I didn't do that. So you just gotta kind of start it again. No big deal. There it goes. Now watch. Okay. That's a lot better than that wad right there, right? Now, it's just going to continue nicely because I didn't pull it out and let it, it's almost like it rubber bands back into it. And it is working absolutely wonderfully. You know, it's new product, so you have to get used to it. And um, if I if there's like a learning curve with it, I want to tell you guys, now I'm going to add this to the center of the inside of that gatefold card. I'm getting less. Yes, yes. You know, um, I feel like as a demonstrator where I can get things um, a little quicker sometimes than you guys do. I feel like it is my job to say, hey, you know, this is what you have to do with this product. I try to try it out first and get it to where, um, you know, I can tell you my honest opinion on it. I, I'm not having trouble with it, but I have seen videos where people have had trouble with it. But on that note, I mean, you guys have seen me get defective dyes, you know, this, that, and the other thing. But Stamp It Up always makes good on it. It's fine. Okay, let's talk about the inside of this card. So the inside and the outside are the same. I use the same DSP, just the other side of it to make the inside, okay? And um, for the DSP, you need to cut two each, one and five eighths by five. So this would be the inside of the card, and then these two will be the outside of the card. The black and the cinnamon cider. The cinnamon cider will go on the outside with this DSP, okay? And you will cut two of these, and the black will go on the inside with this DSP. It one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. One and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Cut two each of these. So the black ones for the inside, and these for the outside. Just like that. Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> Put that aside here. And with this, I'm going to use a little bit of Tombow. I'm really, really close with the measurements, and um, I want to make sure that I don't boo-boo. Just really want to make sure that I, myself, because it's me, have the wiggle room. Hi, Janet. I have trouble, so I never use it, but I did order the new. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I I tend to like the, when I started using the liquid adhesive and getting away from the snail, um, I just really fell in love with it. And I have to admit, it's my go-to adhesive for sure. Let's get this ink out of the way before we make a disaster. And <laughs> so here we go here. Yeah, because you guys know, and I will admit it, um, I've been doing crafting, oh my gosh, for I don't know how many years. My internet keeps dropping. Yeah, no, mine kept buffering there for a minute, I know. Um, you know, and I will admit it to you, there's people that can, they can look at things and it's straight, boom, it is straight. They've got a good eye for that. I don't. So I just need a little bit of help. Now watch this, I want this to take, and that's where the Tombow comes in to give me a little bit of help. Isn't that beautiful? So this black lines up together and the white lines up together. Isn't that cute? That's fun. That's fun. The inside of our card is almost finished. We gotta make Miss Cinnamon. Okay, on this side then. We have to make a cinnamon kitty. If you're just joining, I named the kitty cinnamon after the ink, cinnamon cider, that we're gonna make. Okay, so that goes like that. Now let's bring in these elements. And again, the cinnamon cider was one and seven eighths by five and a quarter, and the DSP 
is one and five eighths by five. Sorry about using the eighths. I try not to, but sometimes you have to. Oh, thank you, Janet. <laughs> thank you, Janet. <laughs> yes, her name is Cinnamon today. I was telling everybody, I think it was yesterday or the other day when I was I was talking on here, you know, because I just chit chat with you guys about my silly life. Um, I have a kitty that was a rescue kitty. Hi, Linda. Um, and my kids got me her for a Christmas years ago. So that's why her name is Miss Jingles. Now, Miss Jingles, Miss Jingles is got catitude. I know you guys know what, you, what I'm talking about. If you have kitties, sometimes they just have an enormous attitude. Um, and Miss Jingles is one of them. She is an attitude cat. I I'm trying to show you what sometimes when she, when I saw this paper, okay, here it is. This is her, except she's black and white. This is the look on her face at me at times. Oh, you're fine, Linda. You're good. My puppy is named Cinnamon. Oh, isn't that sweet? Hey, you can make a cinnamon puppy for this. You don't have to make a kitty. I was just thinking, <laughs> let me tell you something, okay? If I drop some food on the floor, she comes up to it and looks at it like, hey, okay, you need to clean this. And I mean this because my kids have seen her catitude. You know, I live here only because she allows me to. I used to work just to feed her, you know. <laughs> it definitely has an attitude, you know. But, oh, my goodness, she is just a mess. And, and I crack up. You know, your pets, they're sweet. They're just innocent little lives that make you so happy, you know. And then, um, I have to tell you this. This is this is silly. The other day, I don't know, there was a shadow on the floor. And I'm watching her, and she's playing with her ear shadows. And I thought to myself, isn't it nice that God attached your toys to the top of your head? And I <laughs> said... But she was cracking me up because the shadows would move and she would chase them of her little ear shadows. And I was like, oh my gosh, can this stinking cat get any stinking cuter than what she is? I don't know. Okay, so that now, what? <laughs> so that's my story about Miss Jingles. So we have a cinnamon cider. This is a um, square scalloped, and then I did a stitched. We're gonna stamp on this and we're gonna <clears throat> then make our little kitty and everything. Actually, let's go ahead and make our kitty first. This is some scrap paper right here, and this is one a kitty die. Let's see what's in here. There's also other dies for dogs and kitties. I know, right? They all have their own personalities. This is the kitty that's curled up, and then these are two puppies, and I love these paws because I looked yesterday. It's a heart. These little paws are hearts. That's so sweet. So my one daughter, she has a boxer, and the other daughter had a schnauzer, and they both knew me as grandma. The schnauzer got sick and got diabetes, and we had to do the most horrible thing. You know what I'm saying. But it was for the poor dog. It was just pitiful. Um, I cried for a week. Okay, we stamped our kitty in Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. Um, and we're going to cut her out in just a moment. Her little ears, I want to be Flirty Flamingo. Hi, Lisa. Greetings from Australia. Thank you for tuning in. So I'm going to make her little ears pink. And again, I got my Flirty Flamingo with my cat. I think it's because I'm just a little bit behind the camera here. Not right over top of it. Push that back in. There we go. Boy, that took it right away. Nice. <clears throat> uh, you have a poodle mix and a and a chihuahua. Oh, you have two two puppies, Diana. This is a great set for you. You know, if if you have puppy lovers, or I even thought I'm. I think I'm gonna make you know because it it my heart. Okay, it just hurts my heart. This one I can't make this. You know, um, but I think I might make it for the vet. Always in your heart. So sorry for your loss. And then put some kitties and um, and dogs and stuff and, and take it there to them. 
Okay, so now Little Miss Cinnamon is now going to be cinnamon. This is just light cinnamon cider blends. I just used one color. And I just colored Miss Cinnamon. So, I didn't think she needed much shading with the cinnamon. She looked really cute. I thought about making her flirty flamingo, making a pink kitty. Yes, they are service animals. I'm going to order this set this week. Yes, I know, right? This is a cute set. This is a fun set. The DSP, you know, the um, the dies cut out some of the pets on the DSP so that you don't really even have to stamp. They cut out on that DSP. And if you're new to Stampin' Up! and you're on my channel, DSP is Designer Series Paper. And sometimes we have Specialty Designer Series Paper. And then that has some glitz and glimmer to it. Ooh, this little tail has an attitude. Just cute. Outside that line just a little bit again. Oh, she's adorable. Let me see right here on her paw. Okay. Ah, cute. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm going to put this die right on here, and I'm going to take it to the big shot and just um, cut this out real quick. Just to the side here a little bit. And I'm just going to roll that through. And here we go. And here's our cinnamon kitty. Oh, how sweet. Thank you, Jan Janet. I appreciate that. Okay, so she will go kind of on the upper part of this stitched um, square. And I'm just going to put a couple of dimensionals on her. A couple of large dimensionals will be fine right there and there. Okay. So yeah, she can go, I'm gonna wait just a second on that. Let's get some real red. I'm afraid that I'm not going to make it around her being popped up. So I kind of know where she's going there. I'm gonna put my enjoy here and that's in real red. And then I'm going to take my little hearts here because I'm gonna color those with flirty flamingo. And I'm gonna put the little hearts here. I know that they will I think I'm gonna angle them. The other ones I kind of did straight. Let's angle these a little bit. Okay, cute. Okay, now on the bottom, on the card that I did, I stamped the um, little mouse, the toy here, uh, in cinnamon cider and then gently colored with uh, light basic gray. But this one, I want pink ears. I want the little black mouse outline in Tuxedo Memento Black Ink, because I thought this would look cuter after I did that. Okay, so right there. Now, yeah, before we attach that, I really need to definitely <laughs> fix this first. We're gonna have pink ears on the little mouse on this one, because I thought that would look cute with the kitty. After I did it, I was like, oh wait. Oh, so cute. cute. My hearts I want in a dark flirty flamingo so that they stand out a little bit more and they pick up the color in the designer series paper. Just like that. Okay, light flirty flamingo down here, dark up there. Now my little mouse is light smoky slate. And I think that this is just going to look too cute. The other one's okay, but I was like, nah, I didn't like. I was, go oh, that's adorable. Okay. Yeah, I thought that they could look a little cuter. And I think that does it. Let me just. Good. All right. Now, in the um, pack, you get this twine right here that's black and white. Let me 
close my ink up before I stick my finger in it. And, um, excuse me, I felt a sneeze coming. <laughs> so, um, here you get the black and white twine or you get the red and white right here, this beautiful trim right here. This has come, you know, I got it in the suite, but this is what matches with everything. I haven't even opened this yet. Let's open this. Let's see what this is like. Oh, that's thin. Oh, oh, that's cute. Okay. See, I'm still exploring with what I got. Oh, that is nice. That is so thin. Ooh. Do we like that? Love this set. I wasn't sure about it, but now I know it's a cute set. I did black and white here. Should I do the red on this one? Let's do it. Should I do it? Let me see. Well, you know, I mean, hey, we made the mice different. It's okay. Let's just see about this. Well, let's, let me think here. I want to thread it through. Can I thread that through a heart without struggling like crazy? No. Okay. We're going with, I uh, know. I think with my fingers the way they are, no. I will wait on that. That would look cute if I wasn't. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, the red, right? Yes, red. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, let me, let me, um, let me fix this so that I can, oh, that is just, I love that. I really love that. All right. I really love the red because it picks up the enjoy right there. So we'll do a little creative crafting today, right? <laughs> Here we go. I'm not, I don't want a bow either. Um, Let's see, do I want a faux knot? Yes, that's what I want. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, here we go. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go here. We're gonna cut this right here. Okay. On the back of here, okay, let's see how this stuff works. Um, Cause usually I'd put snail. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Okay, a little bit on the bottom here, just to hold my ribbon. Is there a front and back to the ribbon? Okay, this is flatter, I feel that. This is a little bumpier. Okay, I'm gonna put the bumps to the back. Okay. See, and this is what happens when I get in here and I start messing with new product for you guys. I talk to myself like that, I'm like, what do I do? It's almost like I teach myself my own class. Hi, Becky. Okay, so cute right there. Okay, this is really stinking adorable. Let's see, let's try to get this nice and even. Just hang in here with me. It's just some live crafting, right? Okay, then I want this to pop up. I popped it up with dimensionals there. All right, um, now I have to get this. I want my little heart in here. Oh, that's not too bad. I thought it was gonna be bad. I don't know where I put my floss threader. I have a floss threader that would be perfect for this. Um, also, like a threader that you thread a needle with is also perfect for this. But if you cannot put your fingers on them, tweezers, there we go, work, yay. All right, I want my little heart. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out here. Let's move this aside. <clears throat> you Diana thank you Becky and then I'm gonna take this and of course this is way too long but I need room okay I was afraid wrapping it you know where I wrap the twine on this one okay that's easier to do the ribbon was getting twisted so we just needed to make a little bit of a modification here just to accept this and this is gonna be great I just thread that under there I make a knot not a bow. It's just going to make it too thick with that. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, then we're going to pull these up to get them even. We're going to cut. And there we go. 
Oh, adorable. Oh, I'm so glad you guys said do the red. Because for a second there, I was like, no, I might not be able to do it and thread it. But we did it. Oh, I'm so glad you guys talked me into that. I love that. I absolutely love that. Okay, now Miss Cinnamon can go on our card right here on our embellishment. So let her sit right here on top of, oh, she made it, right? She just made that element. That is so cute. That is stinking. Oh, my goodness. That's adorable. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I love when I get on here with you guys and I'm like, well, no, we can do this. And I love when you help me. <laughs> because I like it. It does help. Here we go. Dimensionals on this. So cute. Oh, I'm even happier with this than what I made last night. Thank you, Janet. Completely lost access to your... Oh, I'm so sorry. Susan is having internet trouble. I'm okay over here. I um, buffered that like two, one or two times, and then it was okay. You can catch the replay. Catch the replay. So this goes on here. We have a nice scalloped border. Lisa, thank you. Thank you, Becky. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Adorable. Okay, let's bring in our card base. And this is how we're going to close the card. Closing. Oh, my goodness. This is just. Now, this is where I just wanted to use the stamp and Seal Plus. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I want to put two lines on this left side. Thank you, Jeanette. Um, let's see. Here is my tip. Okay, wait. Oh my goodness, so adorable. Thank you, Wendy. Um, here's my tip. Marja says, if it's hard to put something like ribbon through a tiny hole, it's worth it trying to use some glue to stiffen the end of the thread ribbon. Oh, and dry it. Okay, what Marja is saying is that if it's hard to stick through here because, you know, it's raveling, even with, I would even think, this twine, okay? Drop a little bit of liquid glue on the end. It will hold it, and then you can get it through. That's a great tip, Marsha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Darling kitty, right? Isn't that cute? Okay, so I just had to use the stamp and Seal Plus. Just on this side, okay, I'm going to turn it over. And this basically works the same way. Um, it's just supposed to be a more solid, wow, stickier adhesive, almost like the Fast Fuse. So here, that is wonderful. And here, it is definitely different adhesive, okay? It's definitely different. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that nice stripe. I like that. I like that quarter of an inch stripe right there. And you can see it's kind. It, it, it's different than what the... Uh, regular stamp and seal look like okay when I put that on the card so here I'm just going to come in here push that down we have a card isn't that adorable let's just get our envelope in really quick and we I just want to do our little butterflies I love these little butterflies right here and then here cute a good day to craft. Um, let's use some dark. I folded that out because sometimes when you color with these, it will bleed through and I didn't want it to bleed on this part of the envelope. Or, you know, then it goes into the boo-boo envelope pile and we start to make books. Make this little dark floaty flamingo here so they stand out. Just like that. Just adds a little bit of a personal touch to your project when you color your envelope. And again, I'm outside the line just by a dot. <laughs> Lucky we have this color lifter. There we go, beautiful. It's going to try with. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, Diana. Yes. 
Oh, thank you, Robbie. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, try this card. You know, <clears throat> here's the thing about this card. This base of this um, type of card has a nice little wow factor uh, when someone opens it up, okay? I, now, you could also do a belly band here if you wanted to. There I used the red ribbon. Here I used the black twine. Here I colored, I, I did my little mice brown and then all gray. The little mouse on the, oh, it would, wouldn't it? A little mouse on the envelope? Let's do it. Let's put it on there. That would look cute with the butterflies. Let's just put its little tail in there. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How sweet. Okay, I, I rocked it a little bit, but we're okay with that. Um, let's do some light, cute. Let's do light ears because our butterflies are dark. Absolutely cute. Let's do the little gray body right here. Oh, it's just adorable. Let's do the little gray body. Good idea. You guys are so creative. Here we go. Oh my. Now that's cute, okay? That is cute. Okay, so look, uh, we enhanced us, ourselves a little bit here. This I'm adding a mouse to, I will say that. I love, I love that. That's so cute. <laughs> we did a little red here. We did the black twine here either way. Now, this base, like I was saying, is so fantastic for any DSP. Um, you know, you could use prize peonies on it, and instead of doing the kitty out here, you could do some flowers, you know? Oh, thank you so much, Diane. I, I appreciate that, but look at what I learned from you guys. More, oh, that's so cute. That I love that envelope. I can't, I'm gonna add it to this one off, off camera, but yes. So, this is the suite. You can see we can use a lot of product, have a lot of fun with it, but remember the measurements of this base because it is a fantastic card for any type of um, any type of paper. That's a fantastic card. Miss practically the whole live due to internet. Ah, we'll watch a replay on YouTube. Sorry. Oh, that's okay, Susan. I'm sorry you had trouble. Ugh, I know, right? Sometimes that internet can get you. Um, you could watch the replay here, or you can, or I will upload it to YouTube um, today. Yes. Oh, thank you, Janet. I appreciate that. I so I try to go slow enough, um, and you know, if you guys have, thank you, Becky. <laughs> Just uh, something special. I oh, well, you guys, you start my day off like, what else could could be so much more special than to get in here, do some crafting with you guys. Um, you know, through all of this, this has become my out to um, people. And um, you all have helped me a whole lot through everything. Right now, we are having a very big outbreak in our community. So I am in the house again. And if I go anywhere to do anything, like it's time, I have to go shopping, I will go to another county and shop. Um, our cases went from zero to 52 overnight almost, and um, I just want to keep being safe. So that's, yeah, so um, my out to me is getting on here and crafting with you guys, and it really, really helps me. It also helps me that I have a schedule with you all. It's like, no, you have to get in there, create something, keeps my mind going, you know, and that really helps me. So I do appreciate that. I hope that if you do have this set or think about purchasing this set, you will enjoy uh, it with Little Miss Cinnamon or whoever that you want to put here, a little orange kitty or whatever. You could color it any color you want. So it's just really, really sweet. Uh, I have to admit, I'm okay with the new adhesive. Um, let's see, what's Janet's asking? Um, how do I like the new adhesive? Uh, I have not had any trouble with the stamp and seal. Um, I have not yet opened it, to tell you the truth, to change it. So I don't really even know what's going to go on there when I do that. Uh, I really, 
I wasn't sure if I would use the stamp and seal plus that much but after I used it one time I realized that I really like it um, the the let's see the packaging on this is phenomenal this is how it comes okay the stamp and seal plus thank you Lisa there's directions back here on it and the thing that you have to remember is number four with light and consistent pressure, slowly roll adhesive onto surface. Okay, you know how we could take this stuff and we could just, you know, <laughs> and we were, we had it down and some of it would come off and half of it was on there. I don't know. But this, you have to take, you have to be a little slower. I have to admit this being larger, you get more product, but with it being larger, I my hands are small, so I don't use these under here. I just kind of, you know, brace along the side of it. My pinky comes underneath. Um, it's a nice grip. It feels good in my hand. Um, you know, so I haven't had trouble with it, but I've seen videos where people are having trouble. So my thing is just call Stampin' Up and they will replace it. It's no problem. Oh, yeah, so sorry. Yeah, I know, Marsha. Yeah, I... um. It's, yeah, so, you know, we just kind of hang and wait and we'll see what happens and it's okay. You know, just as long as I continue to stay well, that's why I just try to stay well. Um, yeah, and that's it. So my best thing to do is just stay here and craft and be with you guys. So that's the way that, that it worked before, it's working now. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, um, I have not had any trouble so far. Now, like I said, I've seen videos, um, and I'm like, uh-oh, oh, you know, but if I had trouble with it, I'd call them, they'd send out a new batch. When I had trouble with uh, um, the snail, they just sent me more, um, and then I still had trouble with that. So, but that's that was the whole thing, was that they were getting into um, quality issues with that. So, they came up with their own stuff, and I'm all about it. I like these, I like how this sits on here. It really protects that tip and, um, you know, anything drying out. So I would suggest always keeping these, but I like them. All right, there's our card for today. I will be live on Sunday at 7, and we don't know what we'll be doing yet, but of course we will have fun. Hello, Paula. Thank you. I'm glad you like the card. They came out so cute. So cute. All right, guys, please have a very happy crafting day. Um, get into your craft room. Do some happy crafting today. And please stay safe. I'll see you Sunday at 7. Have a great day.